But I have a question for you. Are there a couple factors, sleeper factors, that maybe we're forgetting about that could actually be the main reason why we do see skyrocketing silver, gold, all the precious metals as we move into the coming months, quarters, and years? Let's talk about those sleeper factors, just a few of them right now. One thing that's not a sleeper factor is you. You're awake and you're here with me in the basement. I really appreciate you giving me your time. It is a big deal. This is not possible without that one special person, and that's you. Please subscribe to the channel. You can share it on social media. Give it a thumbs up. We want to get the word out to more and more people. So we know the big factors why precious metals could likely do very, very well in the coming months, quarters, and years. But what about some of these sleeper factors? Some of the things maybe we've forgotten about recently. How about electric vehicles? And when we look at what's going on in China with electric vehicles, it is absolutely astounding. A recent article from the Silver Academy points out an unbelievable potential statistic for silver from just one car company and likely a company that you've never even heard of. Headline, one car company you've never heard of could easily use almost 14 million ounces of silver per year. Now do the math. Subaru, Honda, Toyota, Volkswagen, Tesla, BMW, Range Rover, Volvo, Hyundai, Kia, and hundreds of other brands. Now add up all the trucks, vans, buses, ship, barges. Do you have silver? Because remember, what we're about to talk about is just one Chinese car brand and one that none of us Westerners likely have even heard of. The company is BYD. Now they are becoming a little more well-known, but they set records with 417,000 EVs sold in September alone, up 46% year on year. And when you do the math, okay, it is unbelievable. BYD achieved remarkable sales in September of 2024, delivering a record-breaking 420,000 new energy vehicles. This represents a 46% increase uh, year over year and a 12% increase from August. So they've been trending higher. Let's get to the math. This is just one car company that most of us have never heard of. If you do the math, 420,000 vehicles sold. If you figure... There's about a thousand grams of silver per electric vehicle, you know, roughly 30 ounces, uh, one kilogram. Total silver used in grams, 420 million. If you convert that to ounces, that's nearly 14 million ounces of silver by one Chinese EV manufacturer. Again, think about if you spread that amongst all of the major car manufacturers throughout the world. Silver in the EV sector has kind of been forgotten about over the last year or so, but it could re-emerge as a major source of demand for silver just at a time when there's less and less silver being produced by the mining companies throughout the world. Investment demand will be critical, in particular for the silver price to move forward into that $40, $50 range as we move into the coming years. The reason why is that is the marginal source of demand. It's that extra source of demand. The smartest people in the room are talking about it, but the reality is that's just a handful of analysts. And as we move into this coming year, investor demand, potentially even fear of missing out, FOMO could be the big sleeper factor that propels in particular the silver price to new all-time highs. And what's a good example that this is starting to percolate? Look, people are buying precious metals at Costco. Hey, I have some toilet paper, some pancake mix, and let's throw in a few uh, tubes of American silver eagles and a one-ounce silver bar. Middle America is starting to wake up. And I think that the average Costco shopper is probably a little bit ahead of the curve. All right. Think about it. These are people who are smart with their money, like to save, buy in bulk, and they are starting to buy. It's a big deal. It's being covered in the mainstream financial press that Costco is experiencing, let's say, very robust sales of precious metals. Now, you know my thoughts on this. Nothing against Costco. But if I'm going to buy gold, silver, or platinum, I want to get it from a specialist like Pimbex, P-I-M-B-E-X. 
Pembex doesn't sell toilet paper. Pembex doesn't sell pancake mix. All they do is sell precious metals. It's what they do, and it's what they do best. And based upon the feedback I've gotten from the uh, basement dweller community, they're doing an A-plus job. You're going to find great selection, unbeatable prices, right, and a company that you can trust. What's the final sleeper factor, the final indicator that is telling us something is amiss? And we'll focus in on silver for this last one. We've got companies like Citibank. Okay, JP Morgan, all the big, big banks are now putting out price forecasts for the next six months, the next year, the next 18 months. Citibank, for instance, just recently came out and said they expect silver to hit $40 in 2025. Everybody's getting on the silver boat. The good news for you, you got on real early. You got yourself a front row seat. It's going to be interesting as we move throughout the rest of this year as the sleeper factors converge with the already major factors we know that are a macro level supporting the precious metals that we're going to see uh, likely some very interesting price movements uh, in the precious metals. I'll look forward to doing it with you throughout the whole whole journey. Hey, I also want to say thank you to channel sponsor First Mining Gold, Canadian gold developer with two multi-million ounce projects in Canada, a stock I own. Also, Fortuna Mining for sponsoring Ron's Basement, another stock I own in a company that has active operating mines in Latin America, silver and gold, and West Africa, gold. I'm not offering financial advice. I'll share with you what I do own, companies I believe in, but I'm not a financial advisor. You can do your own due diligence and see if they seem right for you. One thing I know that is right for me is coming down here and meeting with you on a regular basis. Thank you for being here. Take care of yourself and I'll see you soon.